Hi guys, welcome back. Magic Farm 2 with me, Sid. And uh, after the... Um, oh, what's the word we shall use for this? Um, the debacle we had last time. Then uh, with the Blood Magic Armor, I've decided we need to do just a little bit of re-evaluation. So, I've been working over at the Blood Magic Altar, which you can't see from here. Um, but I need one ingredient for what I'm planning to do, and that is a witch. So, I've loaded up the mob spawner, I have got a safari net ready, and my safari net gun, which is in capture mode. So, what we need to do is catch a witch, so hopefully I won't get too... What's the word I'm looking for? Owned. You'll notice I'm not wearing the blood armour. Hello, witch. Come on, witch. Oh, damn it, she died before I got there. Come on, witch. Put me one in front of this window, please. Gotcha. Turn it off. Uh, where's my glass? Pop that back. Uh, the room is clear. Let's grab my little witch. There we go, we got my witch. So, that's all good. Right, so... I need... What's the word I'm looking for here? A vast? Vast sounds like a good word. A vast soul network to be able to use that blood armor with any reliability. Um, so, with that in mind, I'm going to be using a rune called the Rel Well of Suffering. It's not a rune. A uh, ritual called the Well of Suffering. Um, and basically this sits underneath the altar, and I'll show you that in a little while. There's one more thing I need to do before then. And any mobs underneath it take damage and fill the altar. Now obviously normal mobs will die as they take damage. Uh, and that's not a major problem. Um, but it does mean that I either need an auto spawner in there or need a spawner and need to be near it all the time. Um, Whereas witches, when they take damage, will give themselves a health potion. So, my little plan here, let me just put you out of the way, and you, is to stick an auto spawner underneath there, which I've already done, that's, that's all built, I've done the, we've seen, all seen auto spawners before. Um, I didn't really need that one there, did I? Silly me. Um, with a witch in it. Spawn a bunch of witches in there, leave them running, and voila, they will heal themselves and give me a steady stream of life. That's the plan. However, when I tested this, put you in release mode, when I tested this in um, creative, normal witches despawn. Um, I tried renaming the mob egg, uh, and that didn't work, so... What I'm going to do is, let me just come over here, no, 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 don't you die, can't see, let me see if I can get her in, oh, crap, where's she gone? Hi. Right, I'm, I'm definitely in capture mode. Oh, you. Brian, no! Oh, man. That didn't work as planned. Let me, uh. Let me go and get Brian a bit of steak. Where are you? Oh, you. What have I told you about sitting on the table? Get you a bit more. I think you're still hurting, aren't you? He says twitching. What have I told you, Brian, about sitting on the table? Now, are you... What's your tail looking? Oh, you look a lot better. Right. Now, come over here. So, that should... Yep, Evil Edna. That was the name. I was hoping to actually show you that, but... Uh, 
before I used it, but she conspired to escape my fiendish trap. And yeah, so Evil Edna, that's my witch name. If she's named, she won't despawn, which is pretty cool. Uh, right, what time is it? Is it sleepy time or is it? It's coming up sleepy time. So what we'll do is we'll wait till the morning and then we will go and continue on with the thingy. But yes, yeah, she won't despawn within there. So we can spawn like half a dozen or so of them in and she'll sit there and do her thing and should be good and happy. Well, because good and happy is a creature trapped in a glass box taking damage every so many seconds can be. <laughs> Um, yes, yeah, so I'm just going to wait for night time, sleep off the night, and I will see you over at the Blood Altar. Actually, there was one more thing I needed to do here before we go over to the Blood Altar, so we'll do that. Oh, I can hear some slimy little footprints down here. Um, obviously the auto spawner is going to need mob essence. I've got a hell of a lot of mob essence, and I'll have a lot of other bits and pieces. Oh, sharpness for you, that's nice. Um... So what I've got is I've got a reinforced uh, portable tank, which is 32 buckets worth of storage. I've got myself a couple of fluid ducts. I only really needed one, uh, a servo, because I think I need, will need that. That's 16. That, oh, that's going to be a pain, isn't it? Hang on. Let me, let me just wrench those back off again. Get out my hot body is one thing. Right, let me just borrow that bit of floor. And we'll do this from the bottom. Those tanks uh, are better f when they flow out the bottom. <laughs> it's just the way they are. In you go. Glug, glug, glug. And it makes some space for uh, that as well. So we'll pop that off. I'll leave that in because that's probably going to be useful for future. Um, I certainly don't manage to use anywhere near the mob essence I'm generating. Right, and over to the to the graveyard where my late most recent grave is resting. My my last incarnation. <laughs> oh man, I still can't believe I died on that, but you know things happen. So straight away, if we just wander around here, you'll notice things have changed. You can't see a great big box in the air. And what I've built is I've taken this altar down completely. Uh, and everything is in the underground altar now. And here we have my rune of binding. Um, and I've made it look a bit like a henge on a hilltop. So it just kind of disguises the mound and, and looks quite nice. Endermen have been about, obviously. So we're still going down. Um, now the net effect of taking apart that altar has meant that short of the beacons, this is a tier 5 altar. I say short of the beacons, you know, as if that's minor. I've got enough runes now to fill this out. Turn made, moved it up mainly to sacrifice. It's got the self-sacrifice and the remaining self-sacrifices are in there, as are the um, rune of dislocation, because they're not actually really needed at the moment. Um, now what I am going to need to do, let me just clear this lot out of my inventory a second, take my Master Blood Orb back. Now the ritual itself, I've got the ritual stones that's all set up, requires 50,000 life points, um, which I've got, but I also need to make some um, dusk runes, which require, oh god that lighting glitch, which require one of these, but the dusky version. The dusky version sounds terrible. So I've got my runes of sacrifice, um, I mean, my ritual stones, and down here, underneath the altar, is my space for the witches. Um, now, under there, there's an auto spawner that is being fed by a tesseract for power, and the. Let me pop. I'll just double check. I'm pretty certain I haven't got anything in there, so yeah, that's uh, off at the moment. This setup here, I've got it kind of inverted, so when the door's closed, the spawner's on. When you open the door, the spawner goes off. It's not perfect, because it does mean that things in there can come out, but I don't really envisage that I'll be going in a lot anyway. 
Um, there's a vacuum hopper back there, and that's because I'm going to put the zombie spawner in as well. So when I'm actually working down here, we've got extra mobs, should the mob cap allow. Uh, and... Uh, And that is neatly, most of that's actually gone over, straight over there, and is it probably in the pipes as well. So you should have four buckets there, and then there's a whole load in transit, which should be more than enough. Oh, now on the top, I have a chunk loader. I've got a sound muffler for the zombies. Uh, and this is my master ritual stone ready for me to put the ritual down. But uh, there's a couple of things I need to do first. Now the first thing is I need to make this, which uh, is block of coal with 2,000 life points. I'm also going to need to, there's my self-sacrifice thingy, there we go, charge it up a little bit because at the moment it has nothing in it. So let's just take that up to what we got now. Four and a half thousand, because of course all the self-sacrifice rooms are now on the uh, tier five layer. But we'll live. We'll just uh, we'll take that down a wee bit. In fact, let me just check. I've, I've reorganised my bags a little bit as well, so we should have a regen three forty seconds. That will do me. No, I didn't use it. So that should give me enough to charge it up. Especially with regen 3. Let's just take it down a wee bit. Let me check. Uh, it's at 14,000 with a capacity of 16,000. There we go, 16,000. Plenty. So then we're going to need to do one of these in. And that will make us, we need five because I need to upgrade my diviner as well. So one. Let's so we get Coke. Fortunately, these are pretty quick. Uh, Three, uh, four, doo -doo -doo -doo. oh, empty hand, and five. So that should give us everything we need, I hope. Now, let's see, we need my ritual diviner. And with that, we... Oh, we need two demonic slates. God damn it. There needs always something. Always. Right, what have I got in the bag? Magic. I think I have a couple of reinforced slates, so I'm going to need to stab myself in the finger some more and just bring those up to demonic status, I suspect. Let me just check. 6,000, yeah, I think I'm going to need to stab myself a few times. Uh, oh no, I need the... That should certainly do what two of them, I think. Uh, we'll let those run for a while. So reinforced should become infused, infused should become demonic. Um, so I'm going to just let those run, and I will be back with you once I've got the two missing items. Alright, that seems to have completed, and I've got my two slates. So, the one that can place dusk runes is that one. And of course, they, some of these items don't stack, so... You can't shift. Oh, I only needed two. I thought I needed four. Oh well, doesn't matter. I can always have a few spares. 
we'll have those and we'll get rid of that oh dear and that grab those I made 40 I actually think I need 36 I made four over which is not the end of the world um, so head down into the depths of this and we will jump up here oh. get my ritual diviner let me put that out of the way let me double check 59,161 so I've got 50 dead up that's that's good I hope ritual of the nether da, da, da. binding unbinding high jump um, crusher speed the shepherd well of suffering here we go Bonk, two. Now this particular ritual is designed to fit in underneath the altar. Um, and if you wanted to use the ritual of regeneration um, to regenerate the mobs underneath while you were at it, it will fit into this ritual as well. So you can actually get two rituals in at the same time. Now because I'm using witches, I don't need to worry about the the regen. Fifteen left. There must be more. Yes, I thought there was. Du, du, du. Well, where are we? Du, du, du. That's the top one, so it fits in perfectly. Uh, and yep, that's it. We're done. So we've got the well of suffering that's all in there and happily working I like the fact that when you use that it doesn't deplete the inscription tool which is handy uh, double check 59,000 magic bag weak activation crystal bang if that is activated, a dog's gone mad downstairs. Yep, 50,000 in the bag. Okay, I'm just going to go and uh, beat the dog up because she's barking like an idiot now. Sorry, now I'm just going to go and pacify the dog because she's barking like an idiot. And I will be back in a moment, ready to try this thing out. Okay, sorry about that. Um, that dog would... She, she barks at absolutely anything. So I've got this, which has got the monster spawner on it. Okay, moment of truth. We will pop out. We want exact copy, yes, and we want the witch in. We're going to pop the spawner right there. Oh, God. <laughs> Hungry zombie. Spawner goes in. Bang. One witch. Look, you see she's taking damage. Two witches. Three witches. A zombie. Now he will die for... I think I'll take it to about eight witches off the top of my head. Five. I never noticed this about witches before as well. Look at the nose when they take damage. And they drink in the potions. Well, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... One, two, three, four, five, six. Stay still. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I can't. I've hooked that up, haven't I? Oh, stupid. Stupid. Right. So the witches should be fine. The zombies will die them out. That is probably problematic with those items not getting into the... Uh, vacuum hopper there because you can't get around from that side but got a fair few uh, zombies in there the witches are obviously all healing the cells and they're all called Eve Ledner not seeing anything making its way through yet which is odd but I'm not really worried about those mob drops anyway to be honest they're just bonus oh yeah you die and you come on Look, look, look. I just love that little animation. I've never 
Because normally these guys are you trying desperately to kill or run away from these guys, you don't normally have the time to just sit and watch them. But look at that nose! Look at it! <laughs> oh, that's cool! You can see, actually, you can see the mouth underneath it. Hey! Witches have mouth. That means villagers have mouths. That's scary. Right, anyway, there's life essence being wasted here. Now, in theory, those witches should last forever. And we should see that this is full. So if I take my Master Blood Orb now and pop that in there, my see my live network is going up really fairly quickly uh that's going down so obviously we're getting a lot of the uh, essence that's stored but hopefully this system will have more life going into my soul network than comes out when i'm taking hits in my armor 22,000. So, yeah, I think this is going to be a goer. Just go and check my witches, make sure they're all okay. I'm just, I feel like a little mother hen checking on my witches. Are you alright, witches? Are you alright, witches? Oh, that stuff in the event. I might. How am I going to do it now? I've got the damn thing active, though. That's the problem. I'm not going in with that many witches. <laughs> Just thinking if I placed vacuum hoppers at the four corners, that might have been better. I suppose in the end the mob drops are largely irrelevant. The other thing, it will get things... You heard that little squeak squeak of the bat taking a hit? It will get mobs underneath here as well. So if there's any caves and stuff further down, and I know there's a cave here, then, um, yeah. Incidentally, if you wondered what happened to a lot of that wood that I got from the tree when I was levelling the axe up, it's here. <laughs> it's uh, things with a bit of strip lighting, and yeah. So that's uh, that is looking pretty damn sweet. Uh, let me have a look. My oh, no, 60, well, I mean, bearing in mind I went in with 50,000 last time, it's a 60 odd thousand already, and this hasn't been emptied yet. So I'm going to let the altar empty and just see what kind of speed it goes up without the uh, altar blood there, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be back in a little while. Right, looking at this, it is it's still going up. This is largely empty, you'll see that the it kind of pops up a little bit and then empties and pops up a little bit and then empties, and it's going up by about 300 or so per whatever click second or so uh, now the master blood orb allows me to store 1 million life points which is a damn sight better than 50,000 especially when you've got a permanent source of life in there the one thing I do need to check is that I can leave the area and those witches don't despawn so Let's go for a little wonder. What time is it? It is early morning by the looks of it. It's wandering time. Um, so yeah, we've got lots going on. I've got my little river in here. This is I'm, I'm going to put a bridge across and have this going in. This is the the last quarry. Uh, this still I've still got to sort all this lot, but there's still a few diamonds and stuff left left to re depowered it because obviously it eats an absolute buttload of power even when it's doing nothing i love these boots still i will miss them because the blood armor i think i will probably use this kit um when i am not dungeoning or fighting with us whatever that may be and and then maybe use the uh, blood armor and stuff just when I need that extra extra kick. Now I need to level this up again. This is obviously not as good a tool for <coughs> chopping down trees as the big big axe but you know we've got 9.5 on that already. I bet I can't, no. Alright we'll, we'll jetpack up 
and we'll take this down take this tree down so yeah that is uh, hopefully the first step for getting my revenge on that wither dungeon i know it's possibly a bit harsh of me to say revenge because realistically it wasn't the wither dungeon's fault it was my fault for not understanding how the blood armor actually worked but i'm still having revenge because that's what you do. Oh, I'm going to have to do this the hard way, aren't I? Alright, that should. Oh no, there's still one there. There's probably a whole bunch of things in this as well. So yeah, I'm um, sorry. I just drifted off there while I was it going through the the motions of enjoying chopping down a big tree which is always enjoyable now crusted taint I'm sure that taint is I'm not sure whether this is spreading or not you know I really do need to check the configs I'm fairly certain it is uh, no you're not the hive you're just had it got this far I really need to have a look back you know at some point and oh yeah there we go tainted swarm <laughs> oh lovely get dead get dead come on you get dead I think I'll leave I've not I've not seen a, ta a tainted a ta a tentacle on this version of the mod yet that's one thing I've seen them in videos but I've never seen a tentacle oh hello I didn't know you were there yeah not brilliant come on show me a tentacle Um, I've got a bit of taint ready to f ferment as well, actually. Anyway, I'm completely digressing. So, so next time, the, before we go and take the wither on, obviously I made that pretty sweet potion of regen. Um, and I've used some of it, and there's other ones. And there is a couple of things I want to investigate. Let me just eat. And go here and get the at blood magic at blood. Now, if I can find it, blah, blah, blah. here we go weak filling agent, standard filling agent, and enhanced filling agent. Um, this basically is simple catalyst, nether wart, redstone, and glowstone. I think that probably does one, that does two, and that one does four off the top of my head. And basically, if you put those in a um, potion, alchemical brewing thingy, um, they will fill your flasks back up, um, rather than having to go through the hassle of doing all of the other stuff. Now, the other thing there is, is there is a ritual which automates brewing. So... The, for example, this thing. So you, for that, you need a simple catalyst. Um, for this one, you need a weak filling agent. So you need one of those, and you need a uh, terrari, which is somewhere up here. Terrari. It's a long way to terrari. Dirt sand, obsidian, obsidian, and a simple catalyst. So they all use these, and these are an absolute bind to make. So it occurs to me that we could all use that rune to automate some of the potion brewing. So when we come to having these good potions, I mean, that's not the best one because it's only 40 seconds, but it's regen 3, um, that we could use those quite effectively in our favour. So that may be something I want to look at next time before I run out and go and have a look uh, at the Wither Dungeon again. In my blood armor with a million life points in my cell network and automatic filling, or at least it looks like it's automatic.
it is still filling which bodes well now it'll probably fill faster when I'm actually here because the zombies will spawn as well oh giant zombie <laughs> I love the fact they come with different sizes in this, but yeah, the witches are all still here. And everything looks good. Now, I've got no idea how much. A little bit of zombie flesh. Hardly worth the effort of the making a vacuum hopper. Yeah. Right, so that is automatic blood harvesting. And I'm now coming up to quarter of a million, just over quarter of a million, and we're still rising. So. That's looking pretty damn good. Uh, I have got one of these, so I'm going to make another heart canister to take myself up to 10. So I've got the full uh, thing, and I believe the wither should drop a yellow heart. Um, now, I know in Agrarian Skies, they've given us the ability to craft a yellow heart, but I doubt they have here. Yeah, the recipe for that is that, that, and a golden apple which is the Notch Apple, but I've got a miscraft world full of gold, so that's not a problem. Okay, I'm rambling now, and I am definitely going to draw this one to a close. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, I think this will allow us definitely to get our revenge in the future on the Wither Dungeon, and more importantly, get our first beacon for this corner, and I will replace that with stone or something, with gold, iron or gold. I think somebody just encountered my well of suffering. <laughs> yeah, so thanks for watching, uh, and I will see you again soon. Bye for now.